want to cherish this relationship. We want for you to consider Liberia as your second home, if not the first, because you have to take out of here, but you are here. So we thank all of the legislatures for honoring this program. Like I said, this is the first of this kind. And we are happy that they are here to grace this occasion, to show you the importance of what we're doing. And we want to say to you that uh, uh, Liberia should always uh, be in your memory. And we look forward to seeing you for another visit. Yes. But we want to thank you for the contributions you've already made to the seminary bank. On behalf of the President uh, of the Republic of Liberia, the first female President of Africa, uh, I'd like to congratulate you. And um, I don't know how long you're here for, but whenever you're here the next time, uh, I'll make sure that you pay her a visit. You get a meet her. And I could have done that had I had some timing in mind. So we just want to show our gratitude for your visit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Did they already met? Thank you. 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 Thank
even last week when I left to come to Africa, starting in Ghana. Very intelligent people asked me some very disturbing questions. Are there hotels to sleep in? <laughs> Are there roads to drive on? Are there telephones to use? Very intelligent people because the image of Africa has not changed significantly from the time I was a child. I'm talking about whites, blacks, and all others in between. And I think I was prepared for Africa by the Caribbean. My grandfather is from Jamaica. And as I told Representative Snow, I went to Jamaica some years ago as a young man to speak for the Prime Minister at his national prayer breakfast to celebrate the 21st year of independence. <clears throat> and when I, when I was leaving the, the venue, I saw a truckload of people from the rural area. And I promised that I would visit with them the next time I was in Jamaica. And so I went back. And for one month, I slept in a home for the first time in my life that had no running water. It had no pavement outside. It had no electricity. And for those 30 days, I lived with people who lived the way my ancestors lived. And it changed my life. It helped me recognize the responsibility that African Americans have today to address the plight of African people throughout the diaspora. And so by the time I came here, I expected to see great things. I had been to Ghana a few times, uh, a king in one kingdom in Ghana is also a member of my church, and so I'm the pastor to a king. Uh, I'm going to write him and let him know he never made me a paramount chief. <laughs> And when I came to Liberia, I, I recognized that the eyes of the world are on Liberia. 